And it's so funny. It's such a strange moment, but it, it is iconic in its own way. It's, it's, it's definitely something that everybody always remembers. I went back and actually watched this not too long ago for the first time in years since, you know, probably the premiere or, or maybe even a little bit later. And enough time has passed that I was able to watch it as a viewer with fresh eyes, not as someone that was a part of it, but just as, as you know, a, a completely just uh, objective point of view. And it's really good. <laughs> I was I was just marveling at the choreography, at the way it's shot. Uh, Kenny Ortega, I mean, he he worked magic and brilliance into this number. When you see just the cinematography of, of, of the shots, this, when they cut back and forth uh, into the audience and just those time lapses, it, it, it just gives you that feel um, that that you're of, of a day of baseball and yet it still has this, um, I don't know, this this musical theater special energy that, that uh, comes through the screen. What was so cool about this too is I remember it really felt like such an old Hollywood uh, day of shooting just because <laughs> Kenny had this big tent set up in the back and this megaphone and they had this giant crane. Uh, it just felt like if you ever go to, you know, Universal and you, you see, you know, some of some of the old Hollywoods, like you have the, the director on the big crane with his with his megaphone. And like, it just really felt like such an old Hollywood magic going on here. Uh, so we actually had a good amount of time for learning choreo back during these movies that we didn't have during the shooting of the new High School Musical series. So we would work for, I don't know, two, three weeks um, just on choreography prior to shooting anything. We would just go to Utah and every day we would be in a, in a dance studio learning choreography, drilling choreography. I love this moment when when all the everybody everybody comes running through. It's so funny. It's been so long um, that again when I when I watch this, it is like watching it with completely fresh eyes. I I barely remember, you know, just the, all of the the goings on backstage. But um, it's there's something so cool about that just because when I'm, when I'm watching it, I'm going, it, it, it is it is like this other life that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to to go back and reminisce about. Hey! All right, so you call that a little game? Little League World Series, Newport, Rhode Island. Champions. Nice hat. That's Kenny. That's all Kenny. Uh, yeah, he, it was one of his off the dome moments that he has that would happen all the time over the years that I've been working with him, that he would just, he, he does this, he just comes up and you see it, you see the wheels turning and he usually does a stroke of his chin. And then all of a sudden he just goes on a, on a, on a rant of explaining, you know, what is going to happen next. And this was one of those moments he, and he would go, he says, I want you two to switch hats, switch outfits. And we're like, oh, he goes, it's gonna, I, 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 I trust me. And then the whole thing, it ended up, you know, representing the, us, us actually coming together and coming to a, a bit of mutual understanding. And it's so funny, it's such a strange moment, but it, it is iconic in its own way. It's, it's, it's definitely something that everybody always remembers. And this number in general cracks me up just because there are, there are so many like innuendos that you'd think are, are, are in there. Uh, oh yeah, he's like, you'll never know. And I'm like, oh, I know. He's like, you never tried. <laughs> it's just like, like, what are, what are you suggesting there? <laughs> Every five years, I'm, I'm, you know, the, the anniversaries pop up and um, 
I don't, I don't know. It, it's crazy because time flies mm -hmm. and I know I'm getting older and, you know, just even now being a part of the new generation again, it's like, I, I, I do feel, you know, those, that, that wisdom of age, I guess. But at the same time, I don't know. I, 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 I feel great. It feels like no, it feels like a, a lot of time also hasn't passed and yet it has, it's, it's like a weird time warp. I don't know. When I think back on it, it's, it's tough to recall. There are just certain things that stand out again, just Kenny on his megaphone. That's just something I would, that's, that is imprinted into my brain. Thank <music> you.